Welcome to this lecture on techniques of data collection. In this session, we will explore various methods used in social science research to collect data effectively. Data collection is a crucial step in the research process. It involves gathering information to answer research questions, test hypotheses, and evaluate outcomes. Understanding the difference between qualitative and quantitative data helps in selecting the appropriate technique for data collection. Primary data collection involves gathering new data directly from sources. The main techniques include surveys and questionnaires, interviews, focus groups, observations, and case studies. Surveys and questionnaires are popular methods for collecting quantitative data. They can be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. The main advantage is their ability to collect data from a large sample size quickly, though they may suffer from response bias. Interviews provide in-depth qualitative data and can be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. They offer flexibility and detailed insights but are time-consuming and may introduce interviewer bias. Focus groups involve guided discussions with a small group of participants. They offer diverse perspectives and interactive data but can be influenced by group dynamics and moderator bias. Observations involve systematically watching and recording behaviors. Participant observation involves the researcher becoming part of the group, while non-participant observation keeps the researcher at a distance. These methods offer real-time data but may introduce observer bias and ethical concerns. Case studies involve an in-depth analysis of a single case or a few cases. They provide detailed contextual analysis but may lack generalizability and are time-consuming. Secondary data refers to data that has already been collected by others. Common sources include documents, records, and online databases. Secondary data collection is time-saving and cost-effective but may pose challenges related to data relevance and control. Document analysis involves reviewing existing documents such as official records, personal documents, and historical texts. This method offers rich data but can be biased and may face availability issues. Records and archives include government and organizational records. They provide longitudinal and historical data but may have access issues and incomplete records. Online databases, including academic and public databases, offer extensive data with easy access. However, data reliability and subscription costs can be challenges. Mixed methods combine qualitative and quantitative techniques to provide comprehensive data and enable triangulation. While they offer a complete picture, they can be complex and time-consuming. Ethical considerations are paramount in data collection. Researchers must ensure informed consent, maintain confidentiality, and seek ethical approval where necessary. In summary, we have discussed various techniques of data collection and their respective advantages and disadvantages. It is crucial to choose the right technique based on the research question and ethical considerations. Thank you for watching. If you found this YouTube presentation helpful in understanding the techniques of data collection and the methods used in social science research methodology, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content.